Hi Gemini, welcome to this reading. You might find this resonates more if Gemini is your sun or rising sign. So let's have a look and see the messages that Spirit would like, would like you to know at this time. We have the number 39, my home is my castle. And um, let's pull for number two, this came quickly. <gasps> How crazy, they both talk about home. 41, home in the sky. Wow, so let me hold them side by side. And if you want more time to think, you can just pause. So option one, my home is my castle. Option two, home in the sky. With them both being home related, I wonder if some of you are going to watch one and two. I mean, um, <clears throat> like say you watch, well, I don't know, I'll stop talking. You can choose, there you go. <laughs> okay, so let's start then with this 39, my home is my castle. So what's that if you add the nine and the three? 12? Yep. So 12 could be important. 39, three, nine, one, two. Um, and if we add the two and the one after making 12, we get the number three. So three could be important as well. So I'll put this here. So let's see, spirit, for my pile one, group one, my home is my castle people. The person that's meant for them, is this person in their life already? Is this person in their life already? I'm seeing an egg. Five of pentacles reversed. I think the answer might be a no. Um, this person is lined up for you though, and there will be a new beginning with this person. And when will this person come in? Obviously, as we know, it's always the way when you're feeling good about yourself, when you're focused on yourself, when you're not looking or waiting for them. Mm. King of Cups, this person is mature, they have love, deep feelings for you. I'm interested to know, do they have their eye on you already or are they unaware of you as of yet? They could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, don't have to be. We've got the Magician reversed. You may have been trying to manifest someone specific or someone in general who is in alignment with you and feeling like you've not been having much luck. The guidance here is how do you manifest this person? You don't. You manifest your best life at this point and then you will align with them automatically. Absolutely. See, Wheel of Fortune. So you just get to work on you, basically. Do the things that make you happy, please you, and spirit will bring this person to you. And the fact that they're aligning with you when you're in this nine of um, pentacles vibration, which is very high, tells me this person is also in a high vibration and doing well for themselves, whether we're talking, well, I don't think we're just talking one area. Nine of pentacles to me is doing well with stability, doing well with emotions, doing well with um, psychological, mental peace, um, self-acceptance. We've got the 10 of cups. Eight of wands reversed. So how will this person come in? Well, I don't think you're going to need to do much to recognize them. I think they will let their intentions be known. They will, um, if it's something where they're gonna to write to you, reach out to you, they will take the action, take the initiative. If it's something where you see each other in person, they will take the action towards you. Um, why is this, this page of pentacles reversed? What's this about? Queen of Cups, who is this? Is this you? How you might feel about this person? Interesting, let's see, what else? Nine of Cups, well there's lots of happiness here I'm seeing, filming, Four of Pentacles reversed. I'm not convinced this is you. If this is you, this is you at a future point because you're looking at this person. So this is you once you know about them and you've spent time with them and you're like, wow, you literally are my person. King and Queen of Cups, we feel the same about each other. Um, nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. I mean, it's like a joke, really. Too, too much happiness. It's a joke. No, I'm joking. Um, oh, so opening up, but like, I still don't understand what this page is reversed. It doesn't feel like this person's in another relationship at this point. And it's almost like, if that's how I was gonna read it, I would say then, is the Page of Pentacles a disappointment because it's reversed? Like they wanted a child and didn't have one. They wanted a pet, but the other, like someone wanted a dog and the other person hates animals or something. Or why would they be so happy about something that didn't manifest? So that's just, that's what's not making sense to me here. 
because you're over here minding your business your own business temperance in reverse which by the way in terms of is is romance and love on the table for you right now i feel like spirit saying the best thing for you to focus your attention on right now is you um let this come to you which it will um okay let's keep going to understand what this page of pentacles is talking about page of cups sagittarius gemini double sagittarius this is not making sense and it's getting on my nerves ten of cups okay let me get another deck is this something this person is experiencing currently, Spirit? Or is this the future between my viewer and this person? Now we have the King of Cups again. So maybe it's something they're ex experiencing now. Wheel of Fortune. Hanged Man. Pisces. Sagittarius. The third time. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Oh oh this is what this okay this is what this person is currently now in this moment envisioning and wanting and manifesting oh okay i see but they don't have it that's why it's reversed oh i can't believe it took me so long to get there eight of pentacles reversed they they don't have it to put work into so this person is manifesting their perfect partner which spirit is saying is going to be you once you're in this nine of pentacles place and if you're there already, great. You're well on your way to man manifesting this person in. And if you're saying, well, how do I get there? Nine of Pentacles is whatever makes you feel healthy within yourself, aligned, happy, content, self-sufficient, those sorts of things, at peace with yourself, okay spending time with yourself. Okay, good. So this, this person here, they want a partner, they want an equal they want someone who feels the same way about them that they feel about this person they want lots of happiness lots, lots of joy they want two people whose hearts are open this is not someone who's carrying wounding into a relationship or wants for the other person to be hung up on an ex or something like that um i do think they could want a child or children there's something about a family situation if it's not children it could be animals um or just like lots of people, friends. This is someone who wants to build almost like a little mini community with their partner. Someone who I think wants to keep busy, wants to be having people over to visit, going to other people's to visit. Um, if they have a birthday party, there will be several generations there and everyone's, you know, milling about and enjoying each other's company, that sort of thing. Um, this is someone who might be very oh homely of course yeah they could be could be homely they would they would all have a nice home they want to have a nice home with their partner and they want everyone to feel welcome there they like things that smell nice look nice um, yeah I don't think this person's so interested in like what you would do for a job or how much money you have or anything like that they just are they just want you to feel good about yourself um, okay temperance reverse they could be feeling impatient they want this now we do have this this eight of wands which is i want to get moving but i can't because it's reversed let's see if there's anything else for temperance reversed here oh my goodness temperance reversed again i've got to say this person could be a sagittarius because it's all over this reading um it could also be sagittarius season is important which is now so for some of you yeah if you're in this nine of coins this person is coming in now and look what i've just paused on the star something that's divinely guided you're being led to each other aquarius energy here as well so um <laughs> knight of pentacles high priestess reverse this person's getting impatient um they don't want to listen to, to their intuition anymore which might have been telling them slow and steady wins the race so they may have had a similar message work on yourself get a clear idea of the, the person you want to be with and they've done all of that and now they're ready to find this person which is you to meet this person but pisces energy here as well um so yeah, timing could be basically now for some of you. And if you're watching this later on and it's outside of Sagittarius season, I would say just take it as the timing is imminent, basically. 
So pile one, what do you have to do to meet this perfect person for you? Focus on you. Um, and if you have someone in mind that you hope this will be, I mean, I guess you'll, you'll find out, you know, because this person, as I said, you're going to be drawing them towards you. So they will appear in your reality. You won't have to sort of like unpack. Is this the person? Is that the person? They will make it known very clear with this eight of wands. Okay, so I will leave this here, group one. Um, if you were drawn also to group two, of course you can watch that. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, for being here. Okay, so group two, welcome. We have the number 41, home in the sky. So 41 could be important, four and one. The number five um, could be relevant to you. And also maybe, you know, if we break this down and, and add the four and the one and get five, that's, that's talking about significant change, sometimes difficult change. So maybe you've been through a big transition recently. You're in the middle of it. Home in the sky, these homes are on the move. You could be thinking about moving um, or just changing up something that's connected to one of your core foundations in life, work, a family situation, maybe cycling out people who you no longer consider to be friends, you know, those sorts of things. <clears throat> okay, so group two, let's have a look and see the person meant for you. Ooh, two of cups, um, you know, meant for you, aligned with you. Are they in your life at this time? Let's start there. So for group two, the tower, yes. I even wonder if some of you here have just gone through a breakup. We've got Scorpio energy here, and that could be the big change. Um, and you might be wondering, the person I've just let go of, or who let go of me, were they the one, or is there someone new in my future? Are you kidding me? Oh my God, what is going on? <laughs> two of cups, eight of cups. Okay, so group two, let's have a look. The person meant for you, are they in your life? Another number two, twos, twenty twos, triple two, 2222 could be relevant, important. You could be seeing that already. That could be a sign to let you know this person's close if they're not here already. Or maybe you see that when you're thinking about someone you, um, you know, you already, you already have your eye on or something perhaps. Another two. Choices though, something's changing, I'm sure, for loads of you who chose this group. So two of swords reversed, 10 of um, cups, two of wands, the tower, wow definitely about change <clears throat> three of cups is this person already in group two's life so at the start i was mentioning i just feel some of you might be drawn to watch both piles and i am seeing some similarities in the cards coming out already nine of cups four of pentacles reverse the first message is if something has ended or been taken away from you, try to do what you can to accept it. It was meant to be, whatever this is, release it um, as much as you can, as best as you can with ease, you know? Don't don't have your claws in it till the last dying moment, you know? Because that's just gonna make it worse for you and it's not, it's not meant for you, it's not good enough for you anymore anyway, whatever it is. Um, right, let's see. Is this person in your life already? It's difficult to say because I'm there's so much coming through about what's just been removed from your life. Tell me about this tower card, please. Look at this, the High Priestess and the Four of Swords. I almost think something or someone's been taken away and you're going into a healing mode here. And it's almost that this message is Spirit saying, please trust the, the High Priestess, trust in that little quiet inner voice um that's saying this is actually best for you this is right for you this will lead to something happier or better or more fulfilling for you i think this read this reading for you group two has been hijacked a little bit and spirit has a different slightly different agenda so whatever's been released it you know it was meant to happen and you're on your way to something better with the star so if this is specifically about a romantic person, I think right now this person isn't in your life and you're being guided towards them. And like I said, some of you may just have gone through a breakup, but you're, you're on your way to someone. When I say better, I just mean better for you, you know, at this time, more in alignment with you. I'm thinking about the ugh, oh, words. I'm thinking about Leo energy for some reason. So, you know, you could be, they could be, this new person could be. Right, gosh, there's a lot here. 
you might be uncertain right now. We've got the two of wands, nine of cups. Which path is going to bring me happiness? That could be something you're asking yourself. Okay, I need to go through from the beginning. So two of swords reverse, three of cups. Queen of wands. First thing I will say, group two, is I feel like there's been an... Um, an outgrowing of maybe friends, um, people you spend a lot of time with, and it might be something you didn't want to happen, but it's just a fact, it's just happened. You're seeing things differently or you want different things. There's some kind of truth with this group. Um, it's like, I don't, I don't want to see this truth. I don't want to acknowledge it. I don't want it to be the truth, but it is. Knight of Cups reversed. Two of Cups and um, oh, three of Coins reversed. I wonder as well if some of you are currently in a relationship and the, the really horrible truth is that it might not be the relationship for you anymore and that's something you don't want to accept because perhaps there's still a lot of love here or deep companionship and respect and a friendship but there's something about it because look this Queen of Cups is taking her cup and she's walking away from this Ten of Cups and she might She's saying to herself, why am I doing this? I've got everything here. But there's something about it that's just not in alignment anymore. It might be the romance is gone, but there's a friendship left. Um, hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Two of Wands, Nine of Cups. So if this is, this kind of feels pretty specific. So this is not resonating. You might want to check out um, Pile One see if that's got anything for you five of coins reversed the sun leo there and the moon pisces yeah you know i just think you can't whatever you're being pulled away from or is being taken away from you it's going there's no it's not it's not going to be there anymore there's no safety net so you've got to choose you've got to move forward but it's just like well i don't know left or right you know am i seeing clearly or am i seeing completely unclearly i have no idea at this point The devil reversed. Yeah, whatever's going. Tower, four of coins reversed, devil reversed. It's got to go and it will go because it's holding you back. Even if it's packaged up in the sweetest, loveliest ribbon, it's still not for you, which means it's detrimental to you now at this time. We've got um, Capricorn here, ace of pentacles reversed, knight of pentacles reversed, and it's, you've been potentially been missing opportunities in life because of this, or maybe you know you've been holding yourself back from opportunities because of this. Now, if this isn't an official relationship or marriage for you, this could be someone you've been holding on to because of potential. You wanted to have a foundation with them. You wanted a commitment with them. You wanted them to acknowledge mutual feelings. And you're starting to ask yourself, should I just, whatever the potential, looking at what's happening in the moment and what has happened up until now, should I just release this? because I've been missing chances with other people or I've wanted to move country or home, but I haven't just in case this person has decided they want to explore this with me. Do you know what I mean? There's just something here, whatever it is, and it's going because it's time and it's holding you back. Um, I have to say, I think the person who's meant for you they're either in your life but you're not really connecting with them right now because you've got something much bigger much more immediate going on or you haven't met them yet but it's almost like spirit saying don't you, you, you don't even worry about that at this point you've got to deal with whatever this is this transition in the present moment take care of this first now moving forward um once this has settled a bit how do you what do you do to manifest this person recognize them align with them acceptance and healing acceptance of this old thing that's gone healing and being open to something new that's going to be the work um so no no longer looking back and thinking oh what about that thing that just went or got taken away maybe this this shift this ending could involve you embracing a new identity or a new aspect to your identity that's going to be the work you know that transition that getting comfortable with this new version of things or yourself um and then being healed and ready for something new. 
Um, right, let's see what else we can get here. But I will say group two, this feels more like spirit addressing some big shift you're going through right now and possibly letting a romantic idea, situation or hope go. Or if it's not that, it could be could be a foundation work home, but um something something big, something that's affecting you on an emotional level. And the reason is you've leveled up. You're about to be given more than you've ever had before, but it's still sad because I don't think you have huge issues with what you have now. It might be like one thing is off, but everything else is great. And spirit's saying, well, you deserve to have all things working, not nine out of 10 things, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, what else, please? Six of Cups, yes, okay. We have the Page of Swords, Three of Swords. This is making me feel really sad right now. Knight of Swords, Six of Pentacles reversed. Yep, two of swords in reverse on the back. This is spirit saying, you've got to see this and you've got to see it now. This has gone on long enough. Um, okay, so just looking at the clock, I saw 23, 23, which could be important. So the reason this is making me feel sad, look at the six of cups. So we know this, this is about it's about a deep, very sweet, very special connection. It's about pure intentions going both ways. So you can see she's in this tower and whatever this interesting creature is, you know, they're speaking, they're gifting things to each other. It feels like there's a very sweet energy, but we can't ignore the fact that she seems to be trapped. Um, I feel like this might be you in the tower with whatever this other situation is and you stayed in this tower because you don't want this situation or connection to go and you value and cherish this person or whatever this situation is. Um, and there's a sweetness here, there's a, com there's a compassion, a companionship, but it's not enough. You can't live in this tower, you know, forever. It really feels to me like a relationship where there is so much joy, laughter, support, compassion, love, but there isn't that romantic edge anymore. And, you know, because all the other things are there, it feels very painful to let this go, but I think it's happening anyway. Um, I didn't do this for group one. I didn't really feel, you know, didn't even come to mind. It wasn't necessary. But for you, group two, I'm going to get a couple of oracle cards. Okay, let's see. And if it's not a relationship with a person, it could be um, a community that you're moving away from. Like I said, a group of friends. Um a job you know you love everything about it but the commute is literally killing you you're not getting enough sleep you're too stressed you just can't do it anymore so you've got to leave something but there's some kind of deep deep emotional connection to whatever is leaving your life and that's where your focus needs to be right now is there someone lined up for you in the future and something that's going to actually tick all of the boxes all the ones you have now plus that extra special thing that's missing here yes absolutely but right now even if, if that turned up on your doorstep right now you wouldn't see it or want it because of, of what's going on now first of all i think it's about accepting the transition the change and healing Okay, let's see we have stop calling yourself garbage um you're a blueberry fairy princess or prince you are amazing yeah so maybe if this is you feeling like i should be grateful for everything i have or this person or this situation or this relationship or these friendships i'm so i'm such an awful person for wanting more than i have you know that queen of cups as we saw taking her cup and leaving that ten of cups you know, you might be thinking most people would be overjoyed to have this 10 of cups. Well, stop, stop, you know, thinking that way because if you feel there is anything missing, it's not the 10 of cups, is it? You know, it's not the full package. 
And just because you want something added or something different doesn't mean you're ungrateful for what you have or what you have had with this person or situation. Okay, anything else please? cards are so big okay we have two we have the truth is you're far more capable than you feel yeah and you you can't be in that tower forever um you don't have to be perfect to be lovable okay so i feel someone's on the way and it's not about being perfect it's just about being lovable and i don't think that means like you know being all sweet and lovable i think it means literally being in a place to allow someone to love you and to receive it which doesn't i don't think it's right now um at least not the person spirits got lined up for you okay so that was pretty heavy group two and i think this might be a time of um taking things slow day by day self-care journaling meditation all of that um yeah and focusing on i think adjust adjusting adjustment and um healing first and knowing, you know, home in the sky. Yes, these homes are moving. And it's almost like, where are we going next? All of these birds are looking out of the windows. But they are in their homes. They still have safety around them. And even if the homes disappeared, they're birds. They've got wings, you know? <laughs> so there's a feeling of you are going to be fine. You've got several layers of protection here. And ultimately, if it comes to it, you've got your own wings, you know, to stop you plummeting to the ground. So you are more capable than you feel. Um, okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you found a message in pile two, pile one, or both perhaps, um, and I will see you soon. Bye. Oh, uh, one more thing, of course, thank you so much for the suggestion. Okay, bye.